Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Before we get started, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button on my main page. And once you have done this, don't forget to click on that bell to be the first to get notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, I will be showing you three ways to fix Runtime Broker, which uses too much CPU and RAM. If I go to the bottom left hand corner of my screen and right click and go to Task Manager, and if I scroll down through my background processes, you will find a process called Runtime Broker. And as you can see, I have three of these running at the moment. And a lot of people are finding this process uses far too much memory and CPU. And that is because this process is a background worker for other applications. The first method of fixing this issue is to go down to the bottom left hand corner of your screen and right click in. You now need to click on settings and we now need to click on system. We now need to click on notification and actions and we need to scroll down until we see git tips, tricks and suggestions as you use Windows and we need to simply turn this off. And that might help fix the issue but if it hasn't there is another thing we can do and that is to close this down and now go down to the bottom left hand corner of our screen again and right click and go on to settings. You now need to click on privacy and we now need to scroll down on the left hand side until we find background apps. And you now need to go through and disable any of these apps you do not use. And if you don't use any of them then you can simply just click up the top here and turn this off. And that will just turn all of them off. If you are still having problems then the final step is to go onto the registry editor to do this all we need to do is go back down to the bottom left hand corner of our screen and type in reg edit once the registry editor is open you now need to copy the directory path that's in the description below and simply paste it up the top here and hit enter and we now need to scroll all the way down until we find time broker and once you have found the folder, it should be called Time Broker SVC. We now need to right click on Start and we need to click Modify. And you now need to change this value to 4 and press OK. And we now need to restart Windows and fingers crossed that has fixed the issue. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.